man, this 1K special was really well received. I'm glad that everybody here liked it. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love. And I'm glad that this was the one that got rolled. Because it seems like everybody is on board with Paul heading to the Unova region with Ash. And this topic alone has got me super excited. Even though I didn't want to have to do another Unova what if. But I'm more than willing to do this one. Because it's Paul. Paul is my favorite Ash rival. And I think the dynamic of the two traveling together in the Unova region is going to create a very interesting scenario. But anyway, enough with the rambling. Let's get into part three. Last time, we saw Ash and Paul both decide to take on the Unova Gym Challenge. After Ash added Pidov and Oshawa to his team, and Paul added Tepig to his team, the duo headed to Stryton City and challenged the Stryton Gym, where Ash won with Oshawa and Paul won with Tepig. Now, let's see where their adventures in Unova take our rivals next. Ash, Paul, and Iris are on the road to Nacarine City. During the time they travel, Paul and Ash have been battling to level up their Pokemon. One thing that's happened is Ash and Infernape have started to get back into sync after having Paul and Electivire around. But another thing is Oshawott and Tepig. With Paul being Tepig's trainer, Tepig has been put through some intense training. And with Infernape and Electivire as inspiration, Tepig wants to battle like those two. This has also affected Oshawott. It has always had the urge to battle and has had a bit of overconfidence, but with Paul training with Ash, it doesn't want to get left behind, and as a result, it has developed a rivalry with Tepig, and the two regularly want to battle each other. Oshawott eventually learns Aqua Jet during their training, but there's a problem. It keeps its eyes closed when using it, and as a result, it tends to miss the targets when using the move. While on the road, Ash and Paul encounter a Snivy, which level appears to be higher than usual, suggesting that it may be an abandoned Pokemon. And uh, this catches both Paul's and Ash's attention. The two rush to battle with Snivy and try to catch it. Ash uses Oshawott and Paul uses Tepig. But the Snivy knows a tract and hits both of them with it. As a result, both Oshawott and Tepig are out of the battle. So, Ash and Paul turn to Infernape and Electivire. The two powerhouses launch multiple attacks at Snivy that overpower it, and Ash and Paul both throw a Pokeball at Snivy at the same time. But the ball falls behind a bush, and when they approach, there's no way to know who actually caught Snivy. So Ash and Paul decide to have a battle. The winner gets Snivy. Ash chooses Oshawott, and Paul chooses Tepic. The battle gets underway, and it is clear that Oshawott has the advantage. But, Tepig has better fundamentals due to its training with Paul. As a result, Tepig manages to take advantage of Oshawott, taking the lead in the battle. This pushes Oshawott to its limits. This forces Oshawott to use Aqua Jet, which again misses. Oshawott is beginning to get frustrated with its lack of progress. As Tepig begins to push back Oshawott, Paul comments that Ash needs to stop being so predictable. It almost cost him their battle in Sinnoh, and it's what costed him their battle at Professor Oak's lab. Ash tells Paul, don't worry, he won't disappoint, as he tells Oshawott to use Racer Shell, and it starts to attack. But Tepig has been using Flame Charge, and its speed has increased. Oshawott is being pushed into a corner, and Paul and Tepig push even harder, and it gets more confident. But Oshawott is not ready to give in. All the damage it has taken has caused its torn ability to activate and causes Oshawott's water attacks to increase in their power. As a result, it gives it the edge back that it needs to put down Tepig, allowing Ash to add Snivy to his team. Though Paul is upset that he didn't get Snivy, he is way more impressed with Tepig. He tells it even though it lost, Paul can see that it has limitless potential, and together, they will unlock it. Tepig is excited about what Paul said, and it rubs against him in approval. The trio then continue on to Nacarine City. On the way, they stop to have a battle. Iris asks Paul if he can help her bring out Axe's power, so Paul 
and Tepig have a battle with Axew and Iris. Though Axew loses, Paul and Ash find out how Iris got Axew. Then, Axew gets caught in some trouble with a Scolipede. The Scolipede proves to be too strong, and Iris tries to use Excadrill to save Axew. But, when it won't listen, Paul chooses to use Tepig. The little pig Pokemon is determined to battle the Scolipede, but when the power gap is made evident, Tepig lets out a loud cry and begins to glow. This forces its evolution into Pignite, and upon it evolving, it learns the move Fire Pledge and grows the fighting type ability. Paul uses this to his advantage, and together Pignite and Paul send Scolipede packing. The trio's next stop is in Lecture Town and the Pokemon Battle Club. Paul is looking forward to some trainers and battling with his new pig knight. Ash can't wait either. Bo- they both head in there with Iris complaining the whole time. Once at the battle club, Ash immediately scans through all the trainer logs to see who's there. Once Ash sees Trip is there, he gets excited and calls Trip. Trip comes to the battle club and Ash immediately challenges Trip. But Trip has no interest in Ash, but he has all the interest in Paul. He immediately challenges Paul to a six-on-six battle. Trip wants revenge because of what Paul said back in November Town. But Paul has no interest in battling Trip. He tells Trip he couldn't even beat Ash, so why would he want to battle him? This infuriates Trip. He says, fine, if I can beat Ash, then will you battle with me? Paul did come to battle. He says, okay, if you can beat Ash in a three-on-three, then... I will have a three on three with you. Ash and Trip battle, and ultimately Trip wins after his after he uses Tranquil, Frillish, and Timber. Trip wasted no time beating Ash, and Ash wasn't really taking the battle seriously as he was more interested in seeing Paul battle Trip. And he only used his new Unova Pokemon in this battle. Trip tells Ash that he should evolve his Pokemon, and then he would win. The last battle they had was a fluke. And this battle proved it. Then comes Paul's and Trip's battle. Paul leads with Pignite, and Trip leads with his Servine. But Paul and Pignite's intense battle style proves to be too much for Trip and his Servine, and in the end, they get put down. But Trip sends in his Lampent and manages to put down Pignite. Paul then wastes no time and sends in Electivire. This makes the match very one-sided and Paul puts down Trip's last two Pokemon with no effort. Paul then tells Trip, You know, you told Ash that the last battle you two had was a fluke, but you didn't even realize that Ash took it easy on you. Trip, shocked, says, What do you mean? Paul says, The three Pokemon that Ash used were Pokemon with the least amount of experience, and you beat them. Ash pulled his punches, but I don't. You are still a weak trainer. The only reason you even beat Pignite is because I let you. Then Paul walks away, leaving Trip in silence. Later, at the Pokemon Center, Ash asks Paul why he was so harsh with Trip today. Paul tells Ash, it's simple. Trip thinks he's better because he does the basic things by the book, evolving Pokemon, battling. There's more to Pokemon than that. That's something that I learned from you, Ash. And he needs to realize it as well. And besides, him having two rivals will be good for him. And it's motivation for us not to get lazy and to keep training to get stronger. Ash does agree with the motivation, but still thinks Paul could be nicer about it. But it's Paul, and Ash knows he doesn't try to be nice. He tells people what they need to hear. Now, on the way to Nacrian City, the trio stop for lunch near a river and notice a Dwebble searching for a new rock to call its home, when a bunch of other Dwebble gang up on it and steal the rock. The Dwebble wanted to make into its home. Paul doesn't really want to get involved, as he sees no need. They are just wild Pokemon having a territorial dispute. But Ash insists that they help Dwebble. After hours of searching, night falls, and the trio take a rest. The next morning, they head out to look for the other Dwebble, which leads to them finding the Dwebble, and after they try of running away, Dwebble battles for its home back, but it is outnumbered. Ash tries to send in Pikachu to help it, but Paul stops him. 
He tells Ash, if this is what Dwebble wants, then he needs to fight for it by himself. Ash says that it's outmatched, and Paul says, even so, if we weren't here, it would be the same scenario. So let it prove its strength. After the Dwebble battles the three other Dwebble with its severe disadvantage, it loses. Paul then tells Ash that there's nothing we can do. If Dwebble really wants its home back, then it would take it. Dwebble hears this and gets back up. It won't lose its home, and it attacks the Dwebble again, viciously taking the Dwebble out one by one. In the end, Dwebble proves its strength in getting its home back. Paul is now intrigued. It got its home back without the help, battling three opponents at once. Paul then sends out Pig Knight. Paul tells Dwebble that he sees its strength and he wants to add it to his team. Pig Knight and Dwebble battle, ending with Pig Knight taking down Dwebble with a fire pledge and Paul catching the Dwebble. Ash, Paul, and Iris then come to a Pokemon daycare. And after helping them solve some problems with a Trubbish, Ash and Paul are both gifted a Pokemon egg. Paul is unsure about this, but Ash is excited. Then the trio finally arrive in Nacarine City. Along the way into the city, the rivalry between Oshawott and Pig Knight has been heating up. By the time the two get to Nacarine City, Irish Oshawott has lost four battles with Pig Knight. They all head to the gym as Ash wants to break Oshawott's losing streak. But the gym is also the Nacarine Museum. And the museum is closed due to a secret artifacts gallery exhibit. But there's a problem. Strange things are happening at the museum and people are being attacked. Because they're having issues at the gym slash museum, it has been closed until they can resolve it. So Paul and Ash can't have a gym battle until it reopens. So Paul tells them that they will resolve the problem so they can get their battle. After touring the museum, they learn about the exhibit. Then, after not finding anything during the day, Ash then suggests that they stay in the museum overnight. After the display of power from an angry Yaw Mask and the assistance of Lenora, Paul wants to add the Yaw Mask to his team and chooses to battle it with Dwebble. Yaw Mask puts up a good fight, displaying a lot of different abilities, but Paul and Dwebble are in perfect sync. With the next scissor, Dwebble puts Yaw Mask down and Paul catches it, bringing his team to five. The next day, Paul and Ash head back to the Nacarine Gym to challenge Anora. This time, Paul challenges first because Ash got to go first when they are at the Striaton Gym. After Lenora's help with the museum, Paul is expecting Watchhog. Lenora tells Paul that it will be a two-on-two, and she sends out her two Pokemon, Watchhog and Lilipup. Paul reveals his plans to use Electivire and Pig Knight. Lenora is curious, as she has never battled an Electivire before. The battle gets underway, and Paul goes with Pig Knight, and Lenora sends in Lilipup. The battle gets started, and Pig Knight, proves that it is resilient as Lenore tries to use Shadow Ball and then is countered with Fire Pledge. But Lenore hits Pig Knight with a roar, sending it back and calling out Electivire. Lenore then recalls Lilipup and sends in Watchhog. Lenore tries to use Speed to her advantage, but Paul is ready for her. When she tries to use Confuse Ray, Paul orders Electivire to use Thunder on the battlefield, causing it to break up, and pieces of it fly through the air and hit Watchhog. This stuns Watchhog, and Paul finishes it with a brick break. Nora then sends back in Lilipup, and Paul chooses to recall Electivire and sends back in Pig Knight. Lilipup and Pig Knight battle it out, head to head, but Flame Charge gives Pig Knight the advantage, then an arm thrust puts down Lilipup. Paul has earned the basic badge in a 2-0 fashion. The next day, they return to the gym for Ash's battle. In this battle, Ash chooses to battle with Oshawott and Snivy. Ash sends in Snivy, and Lenora chooses to go with Watchhog. The battle gets underway, and Lenora starts with a mean look, trapping Snivy in battle. But Ash calls for an attract. It does hit, but Watchhog is female, so Ash's only defense is now useless. Then Lenora recalls Watchhog and sends in Lilliput. It battles with Snivy and things start to heat up. Things are going well for Ash until Lilipup starts to glow and it evolves into Herdier. This unfortunately doesn't go well for Ash and Snivy ends up losing to a Giga Impact. Ash then sends in Oshawott. These two start to battle but Oshawott is at a clear disadvantage. Oshawott continues to fire Aqua Jets at Ash's command but it keeps missing 
crashing into the floor of the gym. But Oshawott won't give in, and it and Ash's determination cause Oshawott to start to glow. Now it has evolved into a do-what. Ash hopes that this new development will be enough to win, but ultimately, Duwat and Hurtier end up knocking each other out with a Giga Impact collides, and Duwat fails at an attempt of an Aqua Jet. Ash is upset that he lost, even though Paul won. Iris tells Ash that he can always rechallenge the Nor. Paul then tells Ash that if he plans to do that, then he needs to get past his miserable performance when Duwat. It's clear that he can't control the Aqua Jet, and your reliance on it, that move cost you the match. Nurse Joy then comes out with Snivy and Duwat, and overhearing the conversation, she says to Ash, why don't they head to the battle club and train with Don George? Paul tells Ash that it would be the perfect place to get the training needed. So the next day, they head to the battle club. After explaining his problem with Don George, Ash spends the next week in a specialized training with all of his Pokemon, focusing on Duwa and Snivy mostly. But Infernape has something odd happen while it's training. Infernape's Blaze ability activates, but Ash can feel it, like he's connected to Infernape. But just as quickly as it activates, it fades. During the week, Paul has been completing in the Battle Club battles, training his Dwebble and Yamask. Paul is intent on learning everything he can so that he doesn't have to always rely on Electivire and Torterra. Then, then the day comes for Ash's rematch. They head to the gym, but there is a problem when they arrive. Lenora isn't there, and Ash is informed that she is headed out to an archaeological dig in eastern Unova and won't be back for several months. Now, Ash can't have the rematch, and Paul doesn't want to win. So now, what will they be able to do? And that's all we have for this part. What do you guys think so far of part three of the 1K special? How do you feel about the rivalry between Duwat and Pig Knight? How do you feel about Ash and Paul's team so far? Where do you think that these teams are going to be going? And of course, what was that connection that Ash had with Infernape? for that split second. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so that you'll never miss a video. And if you want to talk with other people in the Ronin Clan, please join the Discord in the link in the description. I will see you in the next video.